tayong gagawin bagong project ay tutoy ano na naman yan saan na naman ang galing yan ha ay ito oh. ito ay tinatawag na high voltage Uh, igniter kit ay yung pinaka PCB niya diba tingnan natin hmm. o yan yan ang PCB niya oy ano yan ha eh pwede itong gamitin lighter o pang sindi diba kaya siya tinawag na igniter eh saan ba galing yan? binili ko ito sa online store hmm. mayroon na siyang kasama mga pyesa ito mga pyesa diba? o oh, yan ang gamit yan ha? igniter nga parang lighter hmm nakakapag-produce ng high voltage uh, arc spark arc generator o yan ang mong gagawin mo ngayon dyan ha? ba? aasemble natin ito isa-isa natin ihihinang dito sa PCB o o ay asemble na natin
Good day to everyone. This is now the actual circuit. So this is the actual circuit of uh, igniter. We have the transformer. This is the transformer. Center top. Okay, with pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, in the circuit, Actually, this is the equivalent uh, circuit diagram of the actual circuit that I reverse engineer. I trace the connection of the components and this is the actual uh, uh, equivalent circuit diagram. The transformer, then the transistor, D880. NPN type transistor that serve as a switch to the transformer and to the other components also we have the diode the resistor 33 ohms 1 watt the diode here is 1N4007 okay silicon diode and a switch Also, we have the capacitor, 470 microfarad, 16 volts, and the terminal block for the power. So, in our equivalent uh, circuit diagram, we have the supply. It's not 5 volts, it's 3.3 volts from uh, 18650 battery. So this is the supply and then we have the capacitor to stabilize the circuit, a coupling capacitor. And into the, our uh, circuit, this type of circuit is what we call the feedback oscillator. So the circuit oscillates, uh, there is an oscillation in the circuit. Due to the fact that uh, when the switch is not pressed, there's no current in the circuit. As long as there is a, a current with, at the base to the emitter, current will flow into the collector to emitter. If there is a current and to the if there's a current. Of base current from base to the emitter the current will also flow into the collector to emitter to switch on this transistor no current to the base to emitter there's also no current that will pass through the collector to emitter of the transistor because this transistor serve as a switch so in order to operate the circuit we need to press the button Upon pressing the button, so when you press the button, current flows into the center top of the transformer. So, flows it in here and then it will go from terminal 2, which is the center top, to the 1. Okay. Producing a negative voltage. Because uh, in theory, when the current uh, flows is uh, current flow is counterclockwise, it will produce a negative voltage. So there are two paths wherein the current flows, okay, from counter, and then the other one is from terminal two to three. So from 3.3 volts going to the 2 to 3. Okay. So the current here is clockwise. While here it's counterclockwise. There are two ways to which the current flows. But to the left and to the right. Then to the right it will produce a positive voltage. 
to the left negative voltage because the current flows from 2 to 1 to the left and to the right since we need to to switch on this transistor upon pressing the switch the current flows into the 2 to the 3 and then goes to the silicon diode this serves as a one-way switch positive or from anode to cathode so this uh, silicon diode will switch on or forward bias then to the resistor or the current limiting 33 ohms one watt then to the switch since we press the switch to the base to the emitter to the base and to the emitter that will switch on the <coughs> transistor so due to the fact that uh, there's a current here from 2 to 3 and then the diode and the resistor switch it will switch on the transistor so if there's a current here the current will also flows from 2 to the 1 but flows a counterclockwise 2 to 1 to the collector and then to the emitter so it produces uh, it produces uh, an oscillation okay, from negative voltage positive voltage and continuously uh, oscillates because of this uh, transistor that serve as a switch and this coil will now energize upon energizing this coil or while energizing this coil well induce a voltage across the or will induce a voltage to the other coil or the secondary coil producing a, a high voltage due to the high frequency oscillation or high frequency produced by this uh, feedback oscillation this type of uh, feedback oscillator this is a feedback oscillator type okay once you press the switch current flows into two three diode resistor switch switching on the transistor that will also produce or oh, well uh, current flows into the two and one to the collector to emitter and continuously oscillating so this is an oscillator a high frequency oscillation will occur uh, it will energize this coil and then due to the induction okay will energize the other end of the coil or the other coil that will produce a high voltage because of the two voltage develop that develop into the primary coil or to the center top coil negative voltage to positive voltage continuously oscillating so there's a high voltage develop into the this uh, coil terminal okay that's why uh, it produces a uh, an a spark or uh, an arc there is an arc or electricity produced at the end of the two tip uh, wire tip okay Thank you.